Setting up your file stack app to upload files to your S3 bucket is actually quite simple. Let me show you the simple steps. First, let's create a bucket specifically to store all your file stack files that your users will be uploading through the file picker. Uh, to do so, log into your AWS account and go to your S3 bucket section. Here, if you click the create bucket and give it a name, we can use that name in our uh, file stack dashboard in a second. We call it file stack demo. Select the region. It really doesn't matter, but um, I like to select US standard if I know my users are mostly in the US. All right, once you have the bucket name, file stack hyphen demo, uh, just remember the name you need it in a second. We are now going to create a policy under security credentials. Click on the policy section in the security credentials section of your Amazon, and we are going to click the create policy button. Under the create your own policy section, select that, and we'll call it uh, whatever you want, but I'll just make it descriptive. So file stack demo uh, policy. And then to get to get the actual policy uh, JSON, let's go to the file stack documentation. Under the storage and S3 section, there's um, an example a policy template that you can copy. I'm going to copy that and paste it into our policy. And the only thing we have to do here is to change this your bucket name to the bucket we created, which I believe was file stack hyphen demo. But let me just double check. File stack hyphen demo was the name of the bucket. So I'm going to copy this guy. Uh, I don't need to file stack hyphen demo. Okay, so. Back to the policy, make sure file stack demo is your bucket name. Now we click the create policy button and that's it for the policy. Next, we're gonna create a group specifically for this policy. To do so, go to the group section and cl click the create new group button. Call it file stack users. Click next. We're going to find the policy we just created. Um, edit policies. And we're going to find the file stack policy we just created. Check it and click next. So now we've created a group called file stack users with the policy, file stack policy attached to it. And the last step is to create a user and place it in that group. So we can create new user, call it file stack demo, demo user maybe, click the create button and here you might want to copy these access key and secret key down to your uh, desktop and click the download credentials button and it will download the CSV to your desktop. Okay, we'll put that aside. We've downloaded the file stack credentials to our desktop. I'm just gonna put this aside for now. We'll need it in a second. Next, we'll go back to the group that we created earlier and attach the user to this group. Great, now that we've set up our Amazon security credentials, we're gonna go to our file stack dashboard and go to the Amazon S3 section under the storage section. As you can see, all the stuff that we need, we already created. So let's fill them in. Our S3 access key ID is this access key ID that was downloaded earlier. Paste that in there and click save. Secret access key, I'm gonna copy that. In there. The bucket name was this guy, file stack demo. Copy that. 
go back to our dashboard and paste that into the default S3 bucket field. We want reduced redundancy and we do want encryption. So let's see if this will work. Great. So this test button will let you know if the credentials and policy you created were created correctly. And that's it. That's all you have to do to uh, set up S3 uh, storage for your file stack app.